Hello everyone, in this video we're going to cover the steps to perform a clean installation of Windows 10 version 2004. A clean installation is just a way to erase everything on your computer and then installing a fresh copy of Windows 10. This will not only help to prevent problems, but you will be starting with a new installation that can actually improve system performance and fix existing issues. However, keep in mind that a clean installation deletes everything on your computer, so always create a full backup before proceeding. You can check the video description below to find the link with the video with the steps to create a full backup, and additional information such as the release date for this feature update and more. In this tutorial, we will be using the media creation tool to create a USB bootable media that you can use to install Windows 10 version 2004. You can get the media creation tool from this Microsoft support website. You don't need to pause the video, I will be leaving the link to download the tool in the video description below. While in the website, click the download tool now button, save the file and click it to start the installer. Select the create installation media for another PC and click next. If you're creating the bootable media for another PC, you can clear this option and select the language, edition, and architecture of Windows 10. But if you're creating a USB bootable media for the same PC, the media creation tool will detect the settings that you need, so you don't need to change the settings. Then click next. At this time, connect the USB drive with at least eight gigabytes of storage to your computer and then select the USB flash drive option and then click next. Select the drive from the list and make sure you're selecting the correct one. Otherwise, the data inside of that drive will be deleted and then click next. Once the media has been created, click the finish button Keep the USB drive connected and reboot your computer. Also, you have to make sure that your PC can boot from USB. Usually, to boot your computer from USB, you need to change the BIOS or UEFI settings, which is pretty much different on every device. So, make sure to check your PC manufacturer for more details. However, typically, you can access these settings by pressing one of the functions key, like F2, F10, or F12, the delete key, or escape key on the keyboard during boot. After restarting your computer with the bootable media in the Windows setup, click Next. Click the Install Now button. If Windows 10 was already installed and properly activated, you don't need to enter a product key. After the installation, Windows 10 will reactivate automatically. To continue, click the I don't have a product key option. Select the operating system you want to install. In my case, it's Windows 10 Pro, but make sure that you select the version that your license key activates and then click Next. Check this option to accept the license terms and click Next. Select the custom option. If you have multiple partitions, you can select each one and click the Delete button to erase it. After you erased all the partitions on the drive where you want to install Windows 10, you will be able to create a single big partition for the new installation. Just remember that removing partitions will also delete its content. In addition, keep in mind that you only need to remove the partitions from the hard drive that you want to install Windows 10. If you have multiple drives, you don't need to delete them. Now select the drive that has the unallocated space and click next. And now a fresh copy of Windows 10 with version 2004 will install on your computer. Now to complete the setup, select your region and click yes. Select your keyboard layout and click yes. Usually you don't have to add a second keyboard layout, so you can click the skip button. Select the Setup for Personal Use option and click Next. In this step, we're going to use a Microsoft account to create a Windows 10 account. So enter your email address 
phone number, or Skype ID associated with your Microsoft account. If you don't have a Microsoft account, you can click the create account option to create one and then click next. Type the password for your account and then click next. Click the create a pin button and create a pin. If you don't want to use a pen, you can always click the cancel button to continue. And in here, you can select all your privacy settings. All the settings are enabled by default, but you can turn them off to see what will happen when you disable the setting. And then you can decide if you want to keep it enabled or not. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to leave all the default options and then click the accept button. If you want to enable timeline across devices, click the yes button or not to disable it. In this case, I'm going to click yes. You can always link your phone later, so click the do it later option. In this step, you can allow OneDrive to backup your files on your desktop documents and picture folders to the cloud. If you're not interested, you can click the only save files to this PC option, which is the option that I'm going to select. In this step, you can click the now button to skip the installation of the trial version of Office. Click this option and the set button to have a more personal experience with Cortana. If you're not interested on having a personal experience with Cortana, you can click the no now button. In this case, I'm just going to click the set button. And now you're back into the desktop. The last thing left to do is to reinstall your apps and restore your files from backup. If you want to make sure that you're actually running version 2004, just open the settings and then on system about under Windows specifications, check the version fill and it should read 2004. And that's how you do a clean installation of Windows 10 with version 2004. Please make sure to check the video notes for important information such as the release date for this new version of Windows 10 and much more. Remember to like the video, share it, and leave your comments. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.